LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris. You can go live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison box and MMA show live. And let me tell you, do something. Let me tell you, do something right now, okay? So the coach is going to take the LDBC challenge. That's right. That's right. The coach is going to take this LDBC challenge. And I'm going to tell you who the coach thinks is going to be the best fighter in 2017. The coach thinks that Errol Spence Jr. That's right. That's my pick. You see, I think Errol Spence Jr. will be the top welterweight by 2017. You see, I think he's going to get in there. He's going to fight Kell Brook. He's going to completely annihilate and knock Kell Brook the hell out. Okay, then after he's done beating up Kell Brook, he's going to call out Keith Thurman. And the same thing, by round eight, he's going to beat the living piss out of Keith Thurman. And that's just the way that is. It's just the way that is. And all of you fanboys, every last one of you fanboys, you fanboys know good and well that Keith Thurman and Kell Brook's demise is inevitable. It's inevitable. Y'all know without a shadow of a doubt that he is. And he will be the top welterweight. Heck, maybe Errol Spence could even unify the division. I mean, who knows? But I tell you this, and I tell you this right now. Errol Spence does a lot of things right. The only knock on Errol Spence that I have on him is that I don't think he moves his head enough. I think his defense could be a little bit tighter. But Errol Spence Jr. has a lot of the weapons, man. That body work, that body work, boy, that, that body work is impregnable, man. Hey, I sound like Mike Tyson. That body work is, I mean, that body work is vicious, man. And then, too, man, see, I like how Errol Spence breaks down a guy. He break a guy down. See, these guys try to get away from him, man. He'll take him and cut the ring off and then blister them to the body. Then he'll go to the head. Then they'll try to get away. Errol Spence will keep him in the corner, man, and then he'll wear these guys out, man. Wear these guys a new behind is what he do. See, Errol Spence, he's a good jabber. I like his jab. He sets up a lot of stuff with his jab. Errol Spence is really the total package when it comes to fighters. And this guy's going to be ducked. I guarantee you. Kell Brook, you know he's going to find some kind of way to try to get out of it. Okay? You know he is. Because Errol Spence is his mandatory. I want to know what Kell Brook's excuse is going to be when it's time to fight. Is Kell Brook really going to have the testicles to get in the ring with Errol Spence Jr.? Or will he come up with some other fighter or say, oh, I want to take this big money fight against Canelo or somebody like that. See, I, I, I really wonder, you know, what's going to happen. But let's just say of everything, he fight the people who I think he need to fight. Errol Spence Jr. gets in there, knocks out Kell Brook, goes in, beats the hell out of Keith Thurman, and he'll be the top welterweight in all of boxing. And that's just the way that is. And then maybe, you know, after Errol Spence Jr. can unify the division, then move up to 154 and take his skill set up. But he beat Keith Thurman. And I'm going to tell y'all why I think, no, I'm going to tell you why I think he beat Kell Brook. See, Kell Brook... He's not much of a volume puncher. Kell Brook has a great right hand. Actually, Kell Brook got power in both hands, really, to be honest with y'all. But see, the thing of it is, man, Errol Spence is very, he's very crafty, and he's slick, and he's, he's really good at, like, you know, popping a nice crisp jab with the right or the left. And then he can get in on the inside and do his damage, okay? And Errol Spence knows how to fight. He knows how to fight from mid-range. He can, he can literally fight from mid-range and actually set his shots up like that. And also, um, Errol Spence throws a pretty good hook. He throws a pretty good right hook that's, that's pretty dangerous, man. See, Errol Spence, he imposes his will on these guys. He imposes his entire will on these guys. And what these guys do, man, they break. He break their will, he take their spirit, he take their soul. Because when he hitting these guys, these guys are thinking, you know, these body shots hurt, man. I can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. And then they end up going down. He broke Bundu down, and let me tell you something. Don't think that Kell Brook and Keith Thurman not watching the Bundu fight, especially uh, Keith Thurman. Because, I'm sorry, Errol Spence did a better job on Bundu than Keith Thurman did. Errol Spence Jr. knocked Bundu ass out of the ring halfway. Bundu was put to sleep. Bundu was laying halfway out of the ropes, halfway in the ring, arched over a rope, asleep. That's going to be you, Keith Thurman. That's going to be you, Kell Brook. Errol Spence Jr. put you guys on notice. You guys are on notice. And y'all better get ready. Y'all better start preparing for this fight now. Because you're going to need to be in the best shape you can to deal with Errol Spence Jr. But it's going to end the same way by knockout. Don't think just because y'all will keep Thurman's this and this. Look, man. I'm going to say this again. And this time it's not Coach Shelton Harrison saying this. It's Coach Stradamus. Coach Stradamus. And I'm telling you, every time I say Coach Tadamas this, Coach Tadamas that, you guys take a lot of L's, okay? Coach Tadamas says, <laughs> Errol Spence Jr. will whoop Kell Brook, and he will beat Keith Thurman. 
It won't. Now, Keith Thurman is going to give some resistance. I mean, Keith Thurman not going to lay down. That, that's not going to be an easy fight. But I'll give it by round eight or by round nine. This fight will be over. And that, my friends, is just the way that is. Errol Spence Jr., 2017, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.